The Mirror and the Light, summer of 1536. Thomas Cromwell is now 50 years old. The same small, quick eyes, the same thick-set, imperturbable body, the same schedules. He's at home wherever he wakes, the Rolls House on Chancery Lane, or his city house at Austin Friars, or at Whitehall with the King, or in some other place where Henry happens to be. He rises at five, says his prayers, attends to his ablutions, and breaks his fast. By six o'clock, he's receiving petitioners, his nephew Richard Cromwell at his elbow. Master Secretary's barge takes him up and down to Greenwich, to Hampton Court, to the Middleton armories at the Tower of London. Though he is a commoner still, most would agree that he is the second man in England. He's the King's deputy in the affairs of the church. He takes licence to inquire into any department of government or the royal household. He carries in his head the statutes of England, the Psalms and the words of the prophets, the columns of the King's account books and the lineage, acreage and income of every person of substance in England. He's famous for his memory and the King likes to test it by asking him for details of obscure disputes from 20 years back. He sometimes carries a sprig of dried rosemary or rue and crumbles it in his palm as if inhaling the scent would help him. But everyone knows it's only a performance. The only things he can't remember are the things he never knew. His chief duty, it seems just now, is to get the king new wives and dispose of the old. His days are long and arduous, packed with laws to be drafted and ambassadors to beguile. He goes on working by candlelight, through summer dusks, through winter sunsets when it is dark by half past three. Even his nights are not his to waste. Often he sleeps in a chamber near the king, and Henry wakes him in the small hours and asks him questions about treasury receipts, or tells him his dreams and asks what they mean. Sometimes he thinks he'd like to marry again. Is it seven years since he lost Elizabeth and his daughters? But no woman would tolerate this kind of life. <laughs>